so this is part two of the false trend haul. I went back to get some more stuff, but I didn't pick up as much as I did last time for the first time. So I'll show you what I got and also what came in the post as well that I was waiting for. I went to New Look and I picked up this is in the colours trend. We're still having the colour block theme still going um, for this autumn season. So I picked up this blue blazer. It's an absolute gorgeous colour. I've been looking for a royal blue blazer, but not yet. But I just thought this looked really nice. It's a nice drape blazer, as you can see. I think it's exactly what it looks like in the camera. That's the exact colour. And I got it in a size 10 because there wasn't a size 8 left. But I can always like roll the sleeves up and wear it like a boyfriend blazer. So this was $34.99. Then I picked up these tailored trousers. This is in the burgundy colour trend. Absolutely gorgeous tailored trousers. And it's sort of folded at the bottom. And it has this black sort of lining in the waist as well. So, so cute really really gorgeous it actually has a matching blazer which I might get if they're still left in my size and this was in a size 10 um, my tailored trousers I normally get a size bigger because I don't like it when it's too tight especially in the thigh area so I like to wear it pretty sort of just sitting on my waist kind of thing um, and that's the color again gorgeous gorgeous color this was $22.99 and it would definitely go really well with the blazer as well it's a really nice color to go with a blazer with a white shirt or a mustard or yellow blouse or a shirt also from new look i picked up these leopard print shoes they're quite cute and this was 17.99 i love the detail i love the little bow at the front and that would look so well go really well with my um leopard print body in the red skirt and I just went to Super Jog just really quickly just to pick up some like toiletries and I just picked up this mascara which I've already used it's the new um, Maybelline Volume Express mascara the cat eyes one um, I didn't know that the brush was actually curved the, um, the one was actually curved so um, it's a bit tricky sometimes using it but I'll get the hang of it, but I might just go back and get something else. I wasn't sure, I thought it was just, because it, it does give, it's, it's meant to give um, volume to your lashes, so I, that's why I got it for my, you know, for my um, falsies, but it's curved, so it's kind of weird. But I will get used to it, or just go get something else. And then I finally, finally got the um, blush by Sleek in rose gold. It's literally been sold out everywhere and you could only get it online or on eBay but this was the last one I was so so happy I got it that's what it looks like it's supposed to be like a dupe to the NARS orgasm I was told but I don't have NARS orgasm so I wouldn't know um, what it's supposed to look like that's the swatch it's a really nice shimmery um, I just sort of blend it out, sort of effect it gives, quite pretty, it can be used as a highlight or even a blush as well, so so pretty. And then I ordered from lovemakeup.co.uk, I got some more of the Femme blushes, so I'm almost done filling up my palette. So the new ones I got are this one which is called Peach Sparkle. It's basically a nice peachy colour with like sparkle to it. That's what it looks like. Really, really pretty. The next one along that is called Sienna. It's supposed to be like a um, brown with red undertones type shade. And I'll swatch that here. That's what it looks like there. It's quite pretty. I actually have it on today as well. That one, which is peak, um, no, which is purple passion, which is a nice purple colour. There. So so pretty on dark skin tones. Definitely can't wait to try that out. I also picked up the last three shades at the bottom as well. The first one is um, 
Golden Sunset. This is Brick Red and that's red. So Golden Sunset is just basically like a rosy colour. A rosy colour with like um, gold reflexes to it. You can see that. Brick Red is just like a matte um, dark red colour. And then red is just basically a red, but it's got um, some a shimmer reflex to it as well. It's a really pretty red. I've got gold reflexes to it as well. So those are the shades that I got from La Femme. I intend to um, just complete the palette and then I'm going to do a full review on the blushes. But I absolutely love these blushes. I use them all the time so cheap and it's just definitely worth the price. The next thing I got as well from lovemakeup.co.uk was the Real Techniques brush set. Now if you don't know what Real Techniques is, this was a brush line that was started by Samantha Chapman, one of the ladies of Pixie Woo. Um, that's what she looks like, if you don't already know who she is. And she started a like brush line of brushes and I thought I'd try them out. I watch Lip Shop and she uses some of these brushes and I just thought I have to get me one of them. So this was, um, this is what it comes in, looks like that, those are the brushes that you get. And this is supposed to be like a, um, it sort of like stands and you're supposed to stand your brushes on them I think. The brushes that you get, this is the contour brush which looks like that the bristles are really soft I'm not sure what type of material it is but they're so so soft this is the contour brush I'll definitely use this to contour or to apply my blush the buffer brush which just basically looks like that it's a lot more it's not as dense as the Sigma um, F80 but I can't wait to try that out as well. This little one is the detailer brush. So you could probably use this for like concealer or like for problem areas, maybe close to your lips or right around there. It's this brush, which is the pointed foundation brush. So this will obviously use for applying foundation. And um, I'm not sure about this one, but I will, I will try them all out and then probably do a review on these brushes. So this was $20.99 I think and the Lafemme brushes were $2.99 each so I got those. Then I picked up this Too Faced eyeshadow um, palette thing. This is a naked eyeshadow palette. I was supposed to pick up the natural one and I was so upset I just realised it wasn't the right one because I was watching um, Lip Shock's Kim Kardashian tutorial and she used the natural palette and I got the naked palette and I've just swatched it and, and it sort of just had a bit of um, a little crack up there so I'm so upset I got the wrong one you know and actually I got it off eBay as well so it was pretty cheap it retails for £26 but I got this for £9.25 so I have to get the other one now like I'm so upset I got the wrong one because I loved the the colours that she used and I was going to try and recreate it but not with this palette obviously um, aww, so sad but what can you do I always do stuff like this I always get something and it's the wrong thing but anyway so that's what I got from like online and I just quickly went into Bangkok again and just got some belts because I missed I forgot to get belts I got this um, I got this leopard print one which is like a, um, the material of it is sort of suede, like a suede feel. It's quite thin and this was two pounds. It came with the purples, like the set of two. The purple as well, really pretty. And I got this blue one, which also has a suede sort of material, really nice blue. would actually go with that orange skirt from Topshop. It's a contrast. And then the plain black one black belt and then yeah the blue one was 
two pounds and this the black one was a pound. So I went back to MAC to exchange the eyeshadows for the pan form and I ended up picking up the palette. Like she made me like, she convinced me to get a palette as well. So I'm gonna start, start, I'm gonna start collecting my MAC eyeshadows. So those are the two shades I mentioned before. The first one is All The Glitters and now I can swatch it for you. Really, really pretty. And then Antiqued. And that's Antiqued next to it. So I will be doing this tutorial, like I said, using these eyeshadows. And also the one I'm wearing today is like a fall type makeup. If you can see it's sort of gold and the lid and then like sort of like a purpley plum in the crease, quite subtle, and then like a silverish sort of bit in my tear duct. And my lips are supposed to be like a like berry colour, but I had to customise it. I used a dark red plus and, and a purple lipstick to try and get like a berry, like a um, dark berry colour. So I will do a tutorial on this look. That is my look. And today what I'm wearing, you've already seen before, my white blazer from Zara. I'm doing a look book on it after this, I think. Um, my necklace from Forever 21. This ring I got from A review that I did, I can't even remember. Um, gosh, what's she called? I can't remember. And then these earrings I got a while ago and I cannot remember it from. Probably from Miss Selfridge or, yeah, I can't remember. So yeah, that's my look. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye guys.